Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am the Poverty Princess. Today I have two super cute Mother's Day DIYs for you guys. I really hope you like them and please let me know in the comment section if you like them both or like one more than the other. Um, let's get right into my Mother's Day DIYs. For this DIY, for the first one, you're going to need one of these silver tone hand mirrors from Dollar Tree. I have been in quite a few Dollar Trees and I always see these. They're usually in the aisle with the brushes and combs. Um, these are usually below where they have um, like the compact mirrors and the hand mirrors. So you shouldn't have a problem finding any of these. I'm also going to be using painter's tape, painter's tape, bleh, tongue tied, uh, to cover up the mirror. And I'm going to be using Rust-Oleum uh, paint. I got this from Walmart. This is a glossy paint. This is a coral color. I was looking for something a little bit lighter. Um, a little more peachy shall we say and they didn't have it so I had to settle for this color um, which is still pretty close and I will be using that with both DIYs and you're also going to need a cutting blade because after you cover the mirror up with the tape you will uh, need to cut around it so when you spray paint that side uh, you won't be taking paint off when you uncover the mirror, but I'll show you all that. Now you'll notice I have this little loop piece right here, and it is actually under this, this piece of tape here, and that's to make pulling up and removing the painter's tape easier when everything is dry. So I'm just going to cut around the excess, so all that's covered is my mirror. I have all the excess tape cut off, and this is how it should look. So I am trying to get this situated to paint it, but it is so ridiculously windy out that, um, yeah, not having an easy time of it. So there is one coat, and I'm going to leave that dry. And then I will do a second coat, turn it over, and I will uh, do the other side. Mirror is dry. And now I am going to be attaching some pearls. These are Crafter Square Glass Pearls from Dollar Tree. I won't be using these larger pearls, but I will be using this size and these real tiny ones. I'm also going to be using Fix-All adhesive instead of hot glue or E6000 because this is just easier to work with um, doing something like this, attaching beads. So I'm going to actually start right up here at the top. And I'm going to attach a little pearl. And I'm going to alternate with Okay, I'll get that one. I see it. I see where it is. And I'm going to alternate with a bigger pearl.
like so, so far. And another reason I wanted to use the um, Fix-All Adhesive is it dries quicker than the E6000. I have my pearls on just the way I want them to be and I'm gonna let them let this dry for about 10-15 minutes finish off with a good coat of sealer and then on to the next DIY. And this is the finished mirror guys. I think it looks so so pretty. For this next DIY, you're going to need one of Dollar Tree's small mirrors. And I won't be using the mirror in this DIY, I just want the frame. So, I am going to try to carefully um, remove the backing and mirror. Oh, okay. That's cool. And carefully going to put this aside because this will be used for another DIY. Now what I'm going to do with this part of the frame, I am going to paint this same color as this mirror. Um, two coats should be good. Next I am going to use this metal uh, mat or screen, whatever this is. Uh, this was from my um, unexpected craft surprise video. Um, I'm going to show you in another DIY how to um, use a splatter screen to do um, a similar thing of uh, what I'm going to be doing with this. So I'm going to trace around with my Sharpie where I'm going to need to cut. And I'm just going to use these Next, I am going to attach this piece of uh, wire to the back of the mirror. Well, actually to the front of the back of the mirror, like so. And I'm going to use 
some of my fix all adhesive and I'm going to uh, also use some hot glue after I have the adhesive put down um, I'm going to be using that as well just to hold everything in place and I so I have it attached and if you're wondering okay what are you making well I am making surprise surprise um, a hanging jewelry uh, a hanging earring organizer now before I attach this back into the frame, I am going to spray paint it. I'm going to paint the wire to match the frame. Well, now I'm going to finish up with my earring holder and I'm going to be attaching pearls going around the outer rim, not the inner rim. And the reason I'm not going to put any on the inner rim is if you have a longer pair of earrings um, that may be brushing right there, they may actually, um, even if you have it glued really good, knock the pearl off. So I thought about it and I looked at it and I thought, mm, I think I'm just going to go with putting some pearls going around the outside and I'm going to use use up my fix all adhesive and hopefully soon well, I say hopefully because hmm, I don't know but um Hopefully soon I will be um, going up to Dollar Tree, get some more supplies. I don't know though guys, money situation not looking good. So I'm going to do the same thing as before. I am except this time I'm going to put a larger pearl one right here in the bottom so that gives me a good idea of how to space them out and I'm going to put one over here basically one in each direction I'm going to leave these pearls dry for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to finish everything off with a coat of sealer and then I'm going to hang it up and show you what it looks like with earrings in. It is not completely dry but I just wanted to show you guys how pretty it looks um hanging up it is just still a little bit tacky um but i just wanted to show you it is such a cute hanger for long earrings and if you're thinking well i have post earrings uh don't worry guys i will be doing a another um mother's day diy soon another earring holder but this one is going to be with a picture frame and that one will be for post earrings if you like this video guys please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit my subscribe button as always thank you so so much for watching take care good night please be safe and 
I will see you all on the next one. Bye.